first off, you heard the president make, make that um, assertion about what happened in the 2020 elections and the fact that he had to pay the political cost because of his commitment to fight illegal mining and throwing the charge to the flag bearer of the NDC for that matter. You have given a verdict to his fight against illegal mining as a failed one. He doesn't seem to agree with you, at least based on what he said today. Well, I'm not surprised at all at the president's uh, statement today. I'm not surprised because <clears throat> this is very typical of Akufuado. Akufuado does no wrong. What he knows is to shift blame instead of doing the needful. Now, if you listen to him carefully, as usual, he's trying to solve himself instead of going straight to how to fix the problem. History will surely absorb him and his bad deeds. Now, I think I've said in your program before that this particular operation is not a political operation. It must be an operation that will be handled entirely by the military. And it is an operation that just a company cannot handle it. It was the operation that would be handled, handled by a whole battalion to be able to, 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 to have a very successful operation. You need a whole battalion for that. Because just a company, a company is just about, uh, roughly about less than even 200 at times, so soldiers. They, they cannot handle such an operation. So to me, the entire operation should be left in hands of the military. They should be given clear objectives and targets. And the rest should be left in the hands of their commanders. And I can assure you, if that is done, within a week, you see a change. Because where we have an instance where the military have been there four days and they left, we all see what has happened. So it's just a waste of money and time. That is another point you didn't forget. Now, the operation to entirely be free from directions or directives of politicians. The issue facing us now is a national problem. It is not partisan in any form. It must be tackled as such. Imagine when you have what we call hemorrhage, that is blood flowing. What a doctor will do first is to find or identify the source of the bleeding. And you put that you fix that first. After fixing that, you see that you find your way through the operation. It is the same in handling this problem. We should find the source of the problem. And the source of the problem is so clear. It's surface mining. So a halt should be made to all surface mining as soon as possible. And that is where we have to declare a state of emergency on all surface mining, river bodies and forests. License or no license. So far, this is what I was saying. I see. But well, that call for a state of emergency, at least from what we see now, has not been considered by the presidency because that's one that the TUs, in fact, the organized labor made, or UTAG also made that demand. But as we speak, there hasn't been any indication that that will be granted. Yeah, it's, 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 the answer is very simple. It's because they are involved in the mining, they are involved. The report of Professor uh, Before Boatin mm -hmm. states that clearly. He didn't mention the names of those of them are involved. If, if the president wants us to believe him, he should come and he should, he should uh, what do you call, have the report published as soon as possible so that we all see. They are involved. Now, when you are involved in a situation and somebody is trying to arrest you, definitely you kick against it. That is what we are saying. They are involved. Those heavy caterpillars are not for those boys around, those poor boys. The caterpillars were bought or have been bought by people with money in their pockets. And these are those really running affairs of the state. That's why we call for a complete emergency, state of emergency for service mining. Let me underline that. In river bodies and all forests in the area of mining. 
as I said, mentions or no mentions. If they are able to stable that, then you know what to do next. This, I'm sure, will be the way the military will tackle it. Talk with Dr. Tomaklo, and I want you to stay with me because you made reference to an issue about what is happening now with the re-engagement of the military in this new phase of the fight against illegal mining. Well, the Birim River is one of the first places the, the, the renewed Operation Halt 2 um, started the operations. They bent a number of Chamfans, 13 of them, and see some 10 uh, water pumps. We're learning today that this Brim River, after that operation, four days afterwards, the, the miners are back. And we're going to put on the screen what the military did uh, that was sometime last week when they, this renewed Operation Hall 2 clamped down on illegal mining started. Let's, let's look at what they did first off um, on, on the Brim River. Yes, they went there, bent a number of these chamfans and uh, these that's water pump machines, as we saw. And that's what is on the screen right now. This was part of the operation last week and destroyed a number of these equipments that the illegal miners use. Well, I would have yeah, thought that, that after, 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 after this, it would have deterred the miners. But from what we are seeing now, today, based on some videos that Adam Srem, a celebrated videographer, uh, made available to us here on TV3, he shows quite clearly through a drone video footage of what's happening on the Brim River that the miners are back. Let's put that on the screen right now. Four days after the military left the Brim River, these illegal miners are back to work. Let's see that. That's what's well, happening not, right now. I am not surprised at all about what we are seeing now. That's why I said this is not a work of a conflict. A company, just a company of a battalion. You need a whole battalion. Indeed, we have about six battalions in, of, of infantry in this country. If we really need to correct things, if even four of them will be dispatched to that place, let them dispatch them there. Because you have to close all avenues that all avenues of escape. And if you're able to do that, you can pursue the individuals that are causing problems to our river bodies. If we have a whole battalion, it's not working. Send that then we have space. Space, even if we send four or even three there, definitely this thing will come to, a, to, to, to an end. Because if, if a battalion goes there and leaves about 100 soldiers or 50 soldiers, the moment they leave there, that, that will be the end. The, the miners will come back. That definitely is one thing we should have, uh, we should have, uh, what do you call it, expected from the, from the miners. Because... If they realize that the soldiers are no longer there, they will come back. You have to leave quite a number of soldiers to guard the place. And if you keep on doing that for a while, that, that will definitely keep them at distance. And they might not even return at all. Dr. Nyaho, Nyaho Tamaklo, thank you for your assessment of the situation and also the recommendations you make thereof. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank you, too. As always.